The issue is whether or not China is going to field a hockey team in the upcoming Beijing Olympics. Now, the problem is that the Chinese hockey team isn't very good. Howdy folks, this is Alan. I'm here in Beijing at the Chengdu International Skating Center. Unlike the 2008 Beijing Summer Olympics, which was a coming out party aimed at showcasing the nation's rise to economic superpower, the 2022 Winter Games is going to be a much more low-key affair, with wins and losses almost secondary to successfully holding a large-scale event during the middle of a pandemic amid threats of boycotts from Western countries for its human rights record. China is at the center of the universe for those two weeks. In the run-up to the games, there will be protests, I'm almost sure. Protests and demands for countries to boycott and leaders to boycott. And, you know, they just have to kind of weather that storm. The test for China could come in hockey. Its national team has three options in the face of impending disaster. Pull out, add experienced heritage players, or lose by lopsided scores. There's precedent in being a lovable loser. South Korea's hockey team outperformed expectations in the last Winter Olympics, winning fans at home and abroad with a mix of local, foreign, and heritage players. The International Ice Hockey Federation has actually said that they want the NHL players to come because they want the best to, uh, to, to come to Beijing in order to showcase hockey. And then the NHL players actually play against China in the same round. Uh, the Chinese team is, is, um, is going to get destroyed. And some people will say that uh, it, it, the score is going to be so lopsided. We're talking about 100 to, 100 to 0. I think going into a situation like that, situation like that where you know you're going to take a, a, a bit of a beating, you've got to seek to, you've got to measure yourself. How bad is this beating? Why are we getting beaten like this? And uh, where do we go from here? And, and maybe create sort of a, a, a story that goes with it where, you know, at least we tried. We went into this, this fight, we gave it a go. We knew uh, we were the underdogs, and, but we still went at it. And now, you know, we know where we stand and let's do our best from here and, and see, what we can, see what we can do.